problem. I could get rid Look of at the amount of respect he's getting. What? He's training him? <laughs> You're so happy to lose. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy, you done get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -uh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Leon. I'm too cool as African geek. Welcome to my channel. Road to 1K. Let's do this shit. This is what if episode 2. What if T'Challa was Star-Lord? We basically did phase 1 in episode 1. Now we're going into phase 2 slash phase 3. Civil War, Black Panther style. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm mad excited for this one. This was one of the most interesting things when they announced it. Before even the images came out. Because they were like, what if T'Challa was Star-Lord? Star I was like, what? Are they really about to do that? Um, Jeffrey Rice doing amazing stuff as a watcher. Uh, Peggy Carter was amazing as Captain Carter. Uh, something I realized last week but I didn't mention was that I really like how it's stylized and how they basically directing animation like film using lighting in a specific way like color reflecting on this one, the shadows, everything. Because I was wondering why, why is this animation very different? But it's like it's not the worst I mean the best drawn or a CG type of animation, but there was something unique about it. Then I realized it's because they directed like the films. They're using film rules, you know, like anime throws film rules off the off the wall. You know what I'm saying? Like characters move different, the camera moves different, the depth perception is different when anime. That's why anime is mad different. But normally with 2D, 3D animation. They have their own set of rules. Shadows still work as shadows, but lighting is not used. Like you try to use the most light as possible so you can highlight the background, the artistic flair of it all. Like Avatar The Last Airbender, the brush strokes of the background. It's amazing. But here they really utilize the fact that this is part of a cinematic film world. So coming in to a film in animation style. You know what I'm saying? It was just visually stunning. So let's not waste any more time. I think I've given Disney all the props they need to hear. <laughs> let's dive right into what if T'Challa was Star Lord. Do 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 do. Da, da, da. Marvel Studios. So every episode is gonna start with this prologue. It's like Avatar. Damn. What if? possibility. He's not dancing. He's more serious with it. Still the same technology, though. Oh man, Chadwick Boseman. He's actually popular. Damn, he has a reputation. He's already treated like a king. <laughs> no lie, this does not make Peter Quill look good. He's really performing. Oh my god, I'm so happy to hear Chadwick. Look at the amount of respect he's getting. What? He's training him? <laughs> You're so happy to lose. But one thing, wasn't Peter called Star Lord because his mother's nickname? Why would that interesting fact transfer to T'Challa? Oh, so Peter was. That's why, oh, that's why Yandu's still working with him. He is more honored than Peter did. Because Peter went behind his back to steal the stone, remember? So Yandu's different because Chadwick is his kid now. Damn, there's no way we can all look at Star Wars the same. Like Peter Quill is such a bad human. <laughs> See the difference it makes when everybody comes back to voice their character? Just that the previous episode, Steve, I was not convinced that was Chris Evans. Why did it take him instead? They got the wrong kid. <laughs> Taser face. So they didn't finish the mission? 20 years later. So T'Challa just left his father? And his mother and his sister? 
Or does he go back home to visit? They friends now. What? He just talked to Danos? Yo, this is so cool. Josh Brolin coming back is amazing too. Drex is a bartender. I won't lie. He's, I can tell it's not Batista, but it's also very convincing. What? Nebula? Nebula's more human. Wakanda was destroyed? Where's Gamora? Damn, he's actually teaming up with Thanos? Damn, the collector's the bad guy in this? This is such a great idea. Robin Hood. <laughs> David Hasselhoff, Robin Hood. It's a heist episode. Damn, it would have been so cool to see Chadwick play this version of Star-Lord. The Black Order now works for the Collector? It's the woman who blew herself up. <laughs> so he doesn't work for Ronin? So the Black Order wants to fight Thanos? Damn, his collection is big here. Damn. Gilmore didn't come back? Wait, it does sound like Gilmore. Damn. Did Nebula double cross Chadwick? I mean, T'Challa. <laughs> God damn, he collected everybody. Man. The possibility of this being true is crazy. And seeing it in live action. Damn. Damn. Do the collector destroy Wakanda? Damn. So Wakanda's not destroyed? So Yandu lied? I hope you can understand. I knew she knew she was bad news. Sister Nebula. Before the Tony her becoming friend situation. His crew is so cool. Thanos. Yandu. Taser face, Sean Guns. I forgot that dude's name. Who worked for Ronin? This dude is so yoked. <laughs> God damn. Does that necklace turn into a Black Panther? She's still a good guy? Damn. She's actually a good person? Cha cha. <laughs> damn. Classic heist move. Vibranium. Damn. This is such an interesting episode. Honestly, it's better than Captain Carter. For me. Dude has an F bender hand? What? Damn. Yeah. He's got cap shield? What? How many people has he taken down? He got Hella's helmet? Yo. Ooh. Where's Gamora? <laughs> Who's Gamora? Why is Gamora? Damn. There's no way Thanos Lackey's uh, can match him. I refuse to believe that. Damn. The collector is a bigger threat here. I would have loved to see him move like this in the movies. Come on, Thanos. It's not like you. Damn. What is that going to do to him? Ooh. Oh, they getting their ass handed to. Ooh. The directing of this episode. Ooh, that score. Ooh, that score. Damn. He's about to be tortured, tortured. His cages are so shitty. Where do they pee and shit and eat in that cage? Oh, a card and ship. Oh, this is so poetic. The emotional intelligence T'Challa always shows. Damn. 
What a nice farewell for him. And I know he's gonna come back because I've seen episodes where he's with Party Thor and Captain Carter and Gamora. Damn. <laughs> he's still telling people his plan. Who's this? Damn. Working at a Dairy Queen? That didn't sound like Chris Pratt. Am I tripping? Oh man, they're doing a dedication to Chadwick. Ah, oh, sweet. Oh man, this episode was phenomenal, dog. Yo, oh, this episode was phenomenal. They really twist a couple of things. But there are some fatal flaws, plot holes that <laughs> we gotta talk about with these what if stories, but still a phenomenal episode. I literally give this episode a 9 out of 10. It's so phenomenal, minus the plot holes. <laughs> Yo. This was a great episode. Big ups. Y'all know what y'all doing, Marvel. I'll give you that. It's very formulaic, but it's great. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess it is like eating McDonald's. You know what you're going to have. And it's good. <laughs> um, Chadwick having so much respect to Star-Lord is such an interesting take because that is, that is the type of person he was. He was already raised by his father. He already had some things instilled in him, so it makes so much sense. Nebula, the whole design of her now is so cool. The only aspect that changed about her is the eye. The rest of her is human. I wonder what happened to Gamora. Maybe Gamora is more vicious this time around. If Nebula is this good, I'm expecting Gamora to be more vicious. Ah. Uh. Thanos being a good guy, being a ravager, Yandu being more emotionally intelligent also, but still being having elements of Yandu, Taser Face also being a good dude. <laughs> so many good things in this episode. But let's talk about the negatives real quick before I sign out. Plot hole. Number one, the name Star Lord. <laughs> that name is only around in the story because that's what that was Peter Quill's nickname from his mother, my little Star Lord. So he can't be Star Lord. <laughs> Two. Um, what else it was a problem for me in this episode? Uh, the Black Order seemed to not know who Thanos was. He seemed to not even fear him. So how how did that happen? Um what else did I want to talk about? Uh Yandu. Yandu going there for a specific mission and just finding a random kid and liking that kid so much that he totally forgets about the other mission. Like he totally just didn't try to look for Peter after that ish. I would have preferred if he actually got Chadwick and Peter and Ch and and like Peter Quill happened to be let's say Peter Quill died in action and Chadwick took the name to honor Peter Quill as the two kids from Earth make them have a relationship in that certain way because that will be a better bridge than just Peter still at home and working at Dairy Queen getting taken by his dad at the end. You know what I'm saying? Because think about it that way. If they both were taken by Yandu and they both ended up being Ravengers, but Peter was Peter and he was more impulsive and more like more Ravager-like and he got himself killed. And to honor him, Chadwick took the name Star-Lord. That plot hole is so solved two plot holes solved with that just one tweak you know what i'm saying also nebula just not being mentioned and everything um ronin also not existing but ronin sky working with the ravengers would know and he's from the kree empire and also the kree was stopped before destroying tracks world where's groot and rocket um there's so many questions, so many things left unanswered. Anyway, tell me what you guys think. Like if you like my reaction, deuces.